Hello researchers, this is teacher Jordan and welcome to my class. How is your research going? Are you having difficulties in doing the next part of your paper? Today, what we are going to learn is another important component of a research paper, that is scope and delimitation. At the end of this video, I'm hoping that you would be able to achieve three objectives. The first one is, I would like you to differentiate delimitation and limitation. Second one, I hope that you would be able to identify the scope and the limitation of the study. And the last one, which is the most important, I hope that this video would be able to help you in writing a complete scope and delimitation of your study. So let's begin. What really is the difference between delimitation and limitation? Do you know the difference? Let's talk about that. When we say delimitation, these are the characteristics that are controlled by you as researchers, while limitation are the characteristics of the study that are out of your control but influence your research findings. Take note that delimitation are boundaries of the research based on the researcher's decision of what to include and what to exclude, while limitations are related to the validity and reliability of the study. In other words, delimitation are things that the researchers will not do. These are the elements outside of the boundaries that you are going to set while limitation are the things that the researcher cannot do. These are the elements outside of your control. Are the differences between delimitation and limitation clear to you now? Let's see. I would like you to identify the situation that I am going to post, whether it is a delimitation or limitation. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first one is, the researchers decided to survey 50 males only for their research. Females will not be a part of the study. Is this a limitation or delimitation? If your answer is delimitation, you are correct because these characteristics are within the control of the researchers. They chose to survey 50 males only, and they do not want to include female participants in their study. Next. Due to pandemic, the researchers cannot meet the participants in person to observe their daily lives. What do you think it is? Is it delimitation or limitation? If you think it is limitation, then you are correct. This is a limitation because the participants cannot control the situation. They cannot meet the participants in person because of the pandemic. Look at the third situation. The researchers invited 30 participants to answer the online questionnaire, but only 20 successfully responded. Do you think this is delimitation or limitation? If your answer is limitation, you are right. This is limitation because this is out of their control. It is possible that not all participants that we invited to participate in our study 
will respond to the questionnaires that we give them. So this is out of our control. Therefore, it is a limitation. Let's have the last situation. The researchers chose a qualitative research design to understand the behavior of students during online classes. Do you think this is delimitation or limitation? Yes, this is an example of delimitation because it is the researcher's decision to choose qualitative research design for, their, for the conduct of their study. I hope through this exercise you were able to understand deeply the difference between delimitation and limitation. Now let's proceed to understanding the scope of the study. When we say scope, these are the details of how in-depth your study is to explore the research question and the parameters in which it will operate in relation to the population and time frame. When we say population, these are the groups of people that you are going to involve in your study. Here are some phrases that you can use in writing the scope of your study. You can say, the coverage of this study is, the study consists of, the study covers the, this study is focused on. You can also use other phrases as long as it pertains to the same meaning. As I have mentioned a while ago, delimitations are the boundaries that you are going to set. This would include geographic location, population size, type of participants, age, gender, research design, and so on. It will be depending on the need of your research. The following are the phrases that you can use to express the delimitations of the study. You can start with, the study does not cover the. The researcher limited this research to. This study is limited to. Can you now make your own scope and delimitation? If not yet, let me give you some guidelines first. In writing the scope of your study, all you have to remember are the six W, H, and H questions. Do you know what I mean? These are the why, what, where, when, who, and how. All you have to do is answer those questions related to your research paper. Let's begin with the why. The why talks about the general aims and objectives or purpose of your study. Remember, in the statement of the problem, you have to write a one statement declaring the vision or purpose of your study. You can actually copy that. You can also modify it a bit, but make sure that it is not changing its meaning because you have to be consistent with the vision or the purpose of your study. Next is what? What are the subjects to be investigated? What are the included variables? I will show you an example later on to understand how to do this. Next is where. Where is the location or setting of the study? For example, where the data will be gathered and to which entity the data will belong. So you have to mention the specific place where you are going to conduct your study. Next is when. This talks about the time frame within which the data is to be collected. It is important that you also mention the duration of your study. When will it start and when will it be completed? Next is who. 
it refers to the subject matter of the study in the population from which they will be selected. When we say population, it is the group of people from which you are going to select your participants. And lastly is the how. You have to explain how the research is to be conducted, including a description of the research design, whether it is experimental research, qualitative research, or a case study. You also need to mention the methodology that you are going to use, as well as the research tools and analysis techniques. Let me give you an example. On the screen is a sample topic that we are going to use in this session. The effect of pandemic to the employment rate of technical vocational livelihood alumni of La Salle Green Hills Alternative Education. So I'm going to use this topic so that I can show you how to write your complete scope and delimitation. So all you have to remember are the W, H, and H questions. Let's answer the why and what of the study. I wrote here, the researchers aim to determine the effect of COVID-19 pandemic to the employment rate of the TVL alumni of La Salle Green Hills Alternative Education. We are answering the question why by stating this phrase. The researchers aim to determine the effect of COVID-19 pandemic. And we are answering the what by mentioning the variables. What are the variables here? We have the COVID-19 pandemic and the employment rate of TVL alumni. So we have already answered the why and what of the study. Let us now answer the who and where. So it talks about the people involved and where will it take place. You can state it like this. The study will involve 10 participants from the Batch 2001 alumni of LSJH Alternative Education who are currently residing within the National Capital Region. The 10 participants from the Batch 2001 alumni of LSJH answers the who question while the national capital region answers the where so it tells the location or the setting where the study will be conducted let's proceed now to the when so you have to mention the time frame or the duration of the study for example this study will be conducted from school year 2021 to 2022 and will be completed in school year 2022 to 2023 as part of the requirement in practical research of TVL's trend at LSGH Alternative Education. You can also be very specific as to when the study started and when it will be completed. And lastly, let us now answer the how. So you just have to explain how you are going to conduct the study. Example, the researchers will conduct a descriptive qualitative research. Interviews will be done through an online platform such as Zoom, Google Meet, or Facebook Messenger. Thematic analysis will be employed on the data gathered. This example is just short. You can actually give more details if necessary so that you can explain further how you are going to conduct the research. Is everything clear? I hope that you are able to learn from this video on how to write a complete scope and delimitation of your study. But before we end, I would like to leave you this question. How can identifying or knowing the scope and the limitations of your study help in the success of your research? I would like you to answer that by posting your comments below. Do you have any questions?
please feel free to send me a message or post your questions in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next class.